I think one, he's gotten a lot better. Uh, still has some uh, room to grow, but I think he sees it much quicker. I thought last year um, it would take him a, a split second to realize the play was going on and he needed to be up there. I like him when he's leveled the level of, the, of, the, of, the, of the screen. I think it helps our, uh, helps our defense. It puts their it puts them offensively a little bit on their heels, and they got to We can dictate where they go instead of them doing the opposite to us. But I like him when he's aggressive when he gets he's up high. But it's all it's a two way street. We need the guards to get into the ball more. Uh, but I think I think TB is much improved defensively. Chase. Scott, we've seen Denny switched on to some point guards already, like Kobe White, uh, Ricky Rubio, and, and Kyrie Irving, and get stops. Um, what is he doing that allows him to have success in those scenarios? Obviously, it's not many, but, you know, at his size, it's been pretty impressive. No, I mean, I think he, he has a, a good awareness. He's still understanding the, the league's personnel and the tendency of the players, and that's going to that could take a couple of years, but... He studies, he has a, he's, he's strong, good size, and he's willing to take the hits. And the thing I like about him is that he's always keeping his hands out. He's, always, he's using his length, his wingspan, he's using that, and he's not getting a lot of the, I mean, he's gonna get some of the ticky tack where you know, the, 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 the offensive player, the good offensive players, they kind of trick, trick you into thinking it really was a foul, I think it happened. Uh, last game, but I think he does a good job of moving his feet and taking the absorbing the contact through his chest. And uh, Cassius Winston, obviously we haven't uh, seen much of him. Is is he healthy at this point? And, and what generally what's it been like trying to develop him without uh, the go go? Yeah, um, he's healthy. He had a you know strained his hamstring during the last couple of weeks. He I think he practiced for the first time live with with his teammates yesterday uh, and he's good. He's, in, he's getting in better shape. Um, our coaches are doing a great job with him of working them before practice and, and teaching them a lot of the things that it's important to know as a, as a point guard, uh, not having the, the G League is not, not great because uh, we utilize it so much in the past and having it in our building, in our city is, is, is terrific, uh, an asset for us. Uh, but, you know, hopefully uh, the G League, you know, with the bubble takes shape and he, he can go down there and get some good, good work and some good minutes and good opportunity for him. But right now he's back to being healthy. So that's the number one thing with him. Eva? Um, Scott, with the uh, second unit guys, you keep saying that there's minutes to be had and, and people are fighting for those spots. What is it do you think that's kept them from getting in the rhythm that you want to see so far this season? Um, I don't know. I mean, I'm tr we're trying to figure that out. I think Danny has done a great job of, of really from the very get-go, from the very start of training camp. That he fought for that spot and he's earned that spot and he's fighting to keep that spot. Um, it does a lot of good things. I, I like, I like, uh, I like him at, at that spot right now. But there's there's the backup. There's the backup two. Uh, we got three guys, four guys. You know, with, with uh, I think Nettle has done a good job of, of earning those minutes too, and you know, trying to get him on the floor. Good thing that he can shoot the ball really well, and he's a uh, feisty defender. He doesn't he doesn't what he lacks in. And the physical side, he makes up with his will and his toughness. So, but with with Troy, uh, Jerome, and Isak, there's still some minutes to be had right there. We're just trying, and it's you know it's it's a uh, it's something that we're going to continue to explore. And it's not just the game minutes; it's the practice minutes. And those are important. But uh, I told the guys the other day, it's be ready, be ready. This is probably going to be like this. It's going to be by committee and um, be ready. And when you're ready, um, play well. And I thought Jerome missed a, missed a couple of games ago. And he came in and 
I think that was, uh, I don't even remember which game, Minnesota and came in and gave us a spark and he, he, he was ready. And I like that. That's why he got rewarded for the next night. And hopefully he continues to do that. Yeah, I wanted to ask you about Jerome. It didn't, he didn't um, come up so big on the stat sheet, but it looked like he was doing a lot of little things, right? What did you see from him specifically on, on Sunday? And that's right. Um, if he does, he did a lot of winning things. Uh, even last game, he fought um, Kevin uh, Durant on the right block, fought him, fought him, fought him. Kevin um, got under him and uh, he drew a foul there. He, he blew up a, a, a pin away on Prince. Um, so that was another foul on Prince. He blew that away. That's two plays in a one point game. And then one time he went under on Prince and, and fought him, beat him to the spot and drew another charge on, on, on Prince. So that's three plays in a one possession game. Those are winning plays. It's not, we have enough scoring. Um, even when he, he can score the ball, but you have to be ready with our group and our guys and our ball handlers, our, our playmakers. We need a guy that's going to defend and do the winning basketball plays and just make spot up shots that those are shots are going to be available. And I think Jerome can make those shots. We'll take a couple more, Neil. Scott, what have you, I guess, and it may entirely be that you're just waiting and he's just waiting for his opportunity, but more, what more do you want to see from Ethoc for him to potentially get those rotation minutes? Well, it's like I said, it's going to be by committee. Uh, I like what he's doing. He's, he's still, still working. You know, he's 21 years old. He has a lot of basketball to improve at, uh, and, and he's going to continue to improve because he works hard and he's a great kid. His body is still developing. He still needs to get stronger uh, and be able to take hits and keep his balance and be able to defend without fouling. And when he does foul, that he puts him on the on the free throw line for two free throws and not one. Uh, but I think he's just like we like I said, we got a we got uh, three or four guys who are going to be fighting for very limited minutes. And you have to be willing to be mentally tough and and stay with it mentally because when you do get a chance if you're not ready it's going to be a, a while before you get that second chance and before a game are you do you know who that player is going to be are you making that decision in the moment can you take us through that thought process for you a little bit of both uh, going into the game tomorrow the way Jerome has played the last couple he's probably going to get those minutes but if we need a longer, uh, uh, lengthy defender, it's obviously uh, Isak. Uh, but it's, it's just that it's, it's, if we need some really good shooting and some feistiness, it's probably going to be more uh, Hau. Uh, that's, that's, uh, those are the things, those are the decisions we make. But we, everybody on our team still has to compete and is just not uh, given minutes. Uh, but I think you can go down the line. Uh, I think uh, Robin has done a good job of getting acclimated and, and getting in better shape um, as this season is, is going along. And TB has really solidified himself of, of being a legitimate, very high level uh, NBA starting five. And the way he's defending and, and rebounding the basketball, it's, it's great to see because he's developed uh, along with the staff of really uh, being consistent and just emotionally just being locked in. Every now, as you see last game, every now and then he gets, he gets so fired up and so sometimes he loses it for a second. But I think we have a good little thing going on that we can calm him down and just have him just channel all of that into the right direction. But Every game is somewhat, uh, there's a couple of spots that are somewhat open. All right, last question from Fred. Scott, just, just following up on the, the bonga stuff you were talking about, I'm curious, what, what do you make of the advanced numbers with bonga defensively? Like last year, you guys were you know, 10 points per 100 better when he was on the floor. And I know it's obviously a very small sample this year, but... That those kind of extremes have carried into into this year. What what do you make of those numbers? 
Yeah, I mean, every every number you can make good and you can change it around and make it what you want to make it. There's other players on the floor. There's time and score. There's situations. And, you know, I, I really, I focus on, on guys just having quality minutes and there's some lineups where, you know, it's, it's an adjustment and, and I'm even, you know, there's some lineups already this year that hasn't done well, um, but it's very small sample size. It's not fair for that lineup uh, just to like totally just go away from it. But there's ways to help that lineup slowly, maybe throwing it in and, and in certain situations. But Bonga, like I said, Bonga is a, is a very good pl developing player. And he still, he still needs, uh, he still needs to keep, continue to work and he will. Uh, but I like, I like the, the, the template that he, he has um be able to work with it's a it's a pretty bright future for him uh, but like i said it's it's game by game and he can be he's going to always be ready because he, he loves the game and wants to compete but right now it's just going to be those minutes are still going to be moved around by you know maybe game to game or a few games here here and there um i think first of all i just like being challenged, you know, I see those quick players um, uh, and people doubting my uh, my lateral quickness and, and defensive uh, abilities. So I'm just taking a challenge, um, staying solid, putting my hands up, trying not to foul, uh, even though it's hard because you're a rookie. But um, I like taking challenges. Um, I'm glad I like fighting and, you know, that's that's all I do. Uh, Lewis. Hey, Danny. Uh, wondering if uh, the coaches have been pushing you to shoot more. There have been a couple of uh, open looks that it seems like maybe you were passing up in earlier games that in the last couple, it seems like you've been pulling the trigger on more quickly. Has that been something coming from the coaches or is it your comfort level or something else? Just me playing the game, you know, some, some games I will shoot less and some, some games I will shoot more, but I need always to be ready to shoot. Um, it's part of the process, and I don't know I'm, I'm going to get comfort, more comfortable with time. It's, uh, it's just a matter of, of, of time. But um, it's, it's just it's just me being myself. Quentin, how you doing, Denny? I know. Were you aware that you and uh, Bradley Bill's father shared the same birthday? He told me that yesterday. <laughs> Did you have any special plans for, I mean, within regulation, did you do anything special after your, you guys won and you uh, celebrated your birthday the other night? Um, I went to dinner the same night. Um, so, uh, yeah, I went to dinner uh, the, the same night uh, with a couple of my teammates. Uh, nice. Russ, Russ bought me a gift, but, uh, <laughs> yeah, it's nice of them. Um, and, all, and also, are you – I guess this is a more broad question, but what would your personal evaluation be of your your own game and your own growth from, you know, this off season into where you are right now? What seven games into the year? It's just knowing the NBA better, like how to defend better, like without your hands, and 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 just how to read the game better. I think I think um, me getting more experience and just feeling more comfortable on the court, feel like I belong and uh, um, playing hard. So um, I believe that with the time, a lot of good things will happen um, with the experience and, and I'm looking forward to it. And now I'm not rushing. Appreciate that, Denny. Neil. Hey, Denny, happy belated birthday. Um, Brad was telling us, and you know, I think a lot of people have said this about you since drafting you, that you ask a lot of questions and, you know, all the veterans like that from a rookie because, you know, it'll help your uh, development faster. I'm curious, were you always a very inquisitive person that would ask a lot of questions going back to even your days overseas? Or is that something that you decided this time around and in your integration with this team that you want to ask more and more questions? Listen, I'm a very curious, uh, curious guy. Um, 
if I'm in a new situation, if I'm in a new environment, if I go travel somewhere, um, wherever I go, I always read about the city, about the city, about where I'm going, you know, what, what the, the population is and, and, and everything. So it's a habit of mine that I'm doing always. And, and, and just, you know, me asking questions, it's not gonna, it's not gonna kill anybody. It's just gonna uh, uh, help me know better things and, and, and explore things. So um, I'm not shy of asking questions and wow. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. <laughs> there you go. You have one for the blue for the for the bloopers. Um, what was what, what, what did I say? Yeah, ask a question. So um, that's just me. That's just my personality, and I like asking questions. So yeah, it's it. I, I didn't have a situation that somebody didn't answer my question. So I'm good. Thanks, Danny. Ava. Danny, I'm glad you didn't have Chipotle on your birthday. Um, just you talked about taking challenges and that's something that Brad has talked about too, just having the, the defensive mentality of the team of accepting the challenge of sticking with your man. Why do you feel like that's something that's important for you guys to adopt as a team on defense? Because think about it. Um, in the NBA, teams has a lot of talent. No matter what team you're facing, you have great players on the other team. So, at the end of the day, we don't want to play offense versus offense, you know, because all teams in the NBA can score. Everybody, everybody got great players. So, I think what can be unique with us and what can help us win games is our defense. Um, if we're gonna have good defense and we're gonna stop great offenses, and 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 we got good offenses ourselves, so, I mean, we can win. We can make, we can win almost everybody. So, um, I mean that that's that's why we need to take a challenge and to play defense, and and, and that's what's gonna help us win games. And then, um, just kind of generally, what's been the focus of these past two practices heading into Philly? Can you, can you repeat it, please? Just what's been the focus of these past uh, two practices heading into Philly? Nothing, nothing um, major. Just um, we played good the, the, the last two games, and, and I think we need to continue with that. Um, our chemistry is getting uh, is getting together, and, and we're playing much more. Uh, we're playing much better now. Um, just need to stay focused and, and and play defense and play hard and play our game. So nothing, nothing, uh, nothing really special.